Hello, hello, hello again, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikayla, and today I'm just gonna do like simple summer makeup. I got back from vacation like two, three weeks ago, and girl, we got a tan. Get into it. Hold on. I live near um, an airport, so if you could hear the plane flying by, hold on. But yeah, and also it's been really hot. Um, we were having a heat wave in New York um, last week. And my makeup just was not lasting like especially under my eyes i was sweating it wasn't lasting in the sense of like i was literally touching my face you know so if i hadn't touched my face i would have been fine but i was sweating girl i had to catch the sweat but i'm gonna show you guys the makeup that i have been doing for this whole week it's gonna be nice simple light makeup so <laughs> using the elf power grip primer she is my go-to and keep in mind that i have done my skincare already so please do your skincare i actually plan on filming a nighttime skincare routine tonight i don't know which video will be out first but if you're interested and i'm gonna take my refi brow pencil honestly like i've said before i don't think the kind of brow pencil matters i honestly feel like they're pretty similar i just really like the ones that have a spoolie at the end because it's just convenient but i'm not gonna put it all over my brows like i usually do i'm just gonna put it in the spots i feel like needs it this one i don't know if y'all can see but this one needs a lot of work not even gonna lie it's missing here and i do need to get my brows done and it's girl like it does not grow i've learned to love it and I was out earlier, so I did have on some eyebrow gel, but the eyebrow gel that I have on is the Urban Decay Slick Day Brow. Um, of course, you could use the NYX Brow Glue. Works amazing. Love her. Next step is I'm going to carve my brows, but I'm only doing the bottom. I'm not doing the top. So this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. I'm actually very happy that... Um, my foundation shades are usually darker than what I am because now my foundation shades perfectly match my skin. But yeah, I just go under just like that and do a little bit more hair just to get a little highlight in there. And I didn't bring a mirror with me. I don't have my handheld mirror, so I'm looking at a mirror that's so far away. But I have my contacts in, so we're good. And I take this flat foundation brush. I should actually link it in my um, link tree. I got it off of Amazon. I don't even know how to pronounce this name. This is literally like my first, oh, could you guys even see it? It's faded, but this was literally my first brush set that I used when I was starting out doing makeup. And I love this brush so much. It just blends perfectly. Since this is more of a natural look, I'm gonna be using my regular concealer and a concealer that is very, very, very low coverage, so. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Mocha. I'm literally not using that much. I'm scraping it off. I'm putting a dot right there, right there, right there, and right there. And then I'm taking this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots Conce Concealer. This is in the shade, girl, I do not know. Hold on. Wait, how do you know? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's it's up here. <laughs> um, it's in tan warm. But I'm putting more of this under my eye than I did of the Too Faced concealer. But this one blends way more and it's very, very, very low coverage. I'm taking the 300 Real Techniques brush and I'm blending it a little bit, not all the way. Let me bring y'all in a little closer. And then whatever is on my brush, I'm just putting in these places. Doesn't do much, but we're not wasting product. Next, I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is in the shade 10. I believe it's number 10. This foundation is pretty pricey. I believe it's $70. 
for this. I will say it's very good. The only reason why I'm using it for this is because it's extremely, extremely lightweight. Um, so if you want to use something else, I would recommend using like... Sorry, oh, my camera battery died. But yeah, I would recommend a skin tint. I know Revlon has a really good one. It's the Illuminous um, Skin Tint. It has some SPF in it, which is perfect for looks like this. But yeah, you really just want something that's light and not too heavy on your skin. I've been pretty active on YouTube this past month. Not gonna jinx it, but sometimes I really wasn't gonna film today, but sometimes I'm like, oh, my nails aren't done. My hair isn't done. Oh my gosh, because I feel like I need to look perfect on my channel. And it's like, if you keep feeling like that, like you're never going to get things done genuinely. Because the real me, my nails aren't done all the time, you know? My hair isn't done all the time. Like no one is like that. I mean, if you're like that, go girl. But <laughs> I'm literally human. And I feel like it's okay to show people on my channel that, like, it's completely fine. I just overthink, like, everything. Taking the Real Techniques 402 brush, I'm going to finally blend out this concealer under my eye. Under my eye or under my eyes? English? And again, I'm really trying my best to, like, look at a mirror that's so far, but it looks okay from afar. I did try to film a maintenance vlog um, for a vacation and a vacation vlog, but I am not that used to picking up my camera, like, at all. I realized that. Like, I'm fine with filming and whatever. Like, I'm not shy about that. But once it gets to, like, actually remembering to pick a camera up or, like, my phone up at least, I... Girl, out the window. Like, I did so good the first day, the second day, but third, fourth, fifth, sixth day, I no footage whatsoever and even with the maintenance vlog i didn't even film me getting my lashes done girl our lashes look so cute let me show y'all isn't she cute like you know but it's all good to add a little more color to my face i'm going to use the rare beauty it's this bronzer bronzer in full of life i'm gonna put her here 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 i know what you're thinking girl that's a lie i usually put like like way more you know but we're keeping things light or at least my definition of light this is the elf angled blush brush that's my first time saying it right because i'm always like brush blush and it's like english like <laughs> anyone who films like makeup videos know like that stutter that you get crazy i'm trying to figure out if having a light hair better or I know I'm gonna be mad by my choice when I edit but I'm gonna turn it off for powder I'm using the Huda Beauty powder this has been banana bread this is my first time using it I bought it on Friday today is what's today Tuesday Tuesday Wednesday it's Wednesday I'm always a day behind but this is gonna be my first time trying it i'm actually very scared but i heard extremely good things about this over the years just never got to use it usually i use the one size powder she has never let me down so if you need a good powder one size is the way to go i just got the travel size because this is my first time trying it and i don't know i feel like powder lasts a long time so some people that I know who uses it, they bought the travel size and it's lasted them so long. But I'm just putting the powder under my eyes, like so. And right here. Keep in mind that I did not dip back in, I just used whatever was left. And then same thing, if you watched um, some of my shorts, I show you guys how I apply powder without your makeup creasing or like how to apply powder good because you never want exactly what is on it after you. You always want to, because girl, that's a lot. You don't want that, you know, you want actual control. And since it's summer, like look up so that you could get in those creases. Okay, I just went closer to the mirror and this powder is pretty pretty. I like it. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. 
in the summer especially with my tan i love using orange blush this is rare beauty blush in joy and i'm gonna put her going up just like that i don't know if you guys could see that yeah if you use liquid blushes you'll know how like fast they'll go away like i'll look at myself like two hours later i'm like where did my blush go like i thought i put so much and she's not even here so for lashes i'm using the ilia limitless lash mascara love her but if you don't want to use this you could use the l'oreal telescopic mascara and i'm also using these kiss lashes they obviously you know just go towards the end um i'm gonna make them into clusters because i don't know i'm not a fan of gluing the lashes on anymore i am a cluster girl i just realized i do have a little mirror so i've been struggling for no reason this whole time i love the look of half lashes because it's not too much another plane but yeah the half lashes aren't too much but it still gives you a little you know lift to your eye i really want to do an unedited makeup routine i've seen i believe it's her name leah holton i could be completely wrong let me stop trying to name people i don't know any influencers but i've seen someone do it and it was like about like an hour and three minutes and whatever but i don't know if that's something that like I would do because for one if y'all see like my footage it's literally like me stuttering or saying the same sentence over and over again or these are at least for my tutorials if it's like a chit chat get ready with me I, I'm just chatting like, what can I say I'm a yapper y'all my tutorials or like my chit chat get ready with me's will be like maybe an hour and 30 minutes like who's watching that but I don't know it seems fun I might try it but at the same time it's like how do you like not get up and get a drink not get up and like because you forgot something like I forget everything every time I do my makeup last but not least lips um this is the makeup forever color pencil in 608 limitless brown I don't overline my lips or anything I just go by the shape me struggling to see when I have a mirror right here. Hold on. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice warm shade. And we have the Milani lip oil. Oh, it's a lip oil in raspberry peach. One of my mutuals on TikTok, actually, she was on live. And I was like, girl, what's on your lips? And it was this. Because, girl, look at my lips. <laughs> this has to be, like, one of my current favorite lip combos. And it actually lasts so long, so shout out to her, for real. But yes, we're going to spray one last time. I'm only using this one. Usually I also use the one size setting spray, but this gives you a glowy finish. And we didn't use too much face makeup, so it's nice and light. But this is the end product. Oh, oh my gosh, I thought my mic was unplugged in. You guys are really getting the raw and cut me today. Okay, so we changed my hair. And this is really how I should have had my hair the entire time. Um, I love doing this with Passion Twist. It's just, I don't know. I feel like when you keep it up like this, it makes them look older quicker. But this is the final look. I did add a little bit more blush. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please like, comment, only if you want to. But thank you for watching. Bye.